are looking good for today and tomorrow, but rain heading in for us on Wednesday and the humidity. Yes, we are definitely going to see that build. But first, I want to take you out to Kevin Yard, where he was talking to some very talented musicians. And if you love Around the World in 80 Seconds, just as much as we do, you can head to theweathernetwork.com. Rachel shoots in here with you and breaking down your forecast for the greater Toronto area. Well, we are looking good for today and tomorrow, but rain heading in for us on Wednesday and the humidity. Yes, we are definitely going to see that build. But first, I want to take you out to Kevin Yard, where he was talking to some very talented musicians. Brian Salute, they did. I'm going to get that. All right, awesome stuff. Thank you so much, guys. Looking forward to that event. Now, taking a look at our forecast this afternoon, we are seeing the moisture sticking up to the north, but eventually that is going to be falling south along with the cold front, and that's going to be chilling our temperatures, taking away that humidity, but bringing rain for Wednesday. And that's a look at our top five videos. Thanks so much for joining us today. Rachel Schutzen here with you. And as we break down our weather pattern for the GTA, well, today is going to be looking fairly pleasant. Tomorrow, the humidity builds. And then Wednesday is when we could be getting a little wet. Showers are in the forecast. I'll break that down a little more coming up. But for now, I want to send things outside to Kevin Yard. <laughs> Sounding good, guys. Thanks so much for that, Kevin. Now, this is what we are seeing this afternoon. We are seeing much, much of the moisture sticking to the north. We actually have heat warnings in place up here. Things are going to be getting very sticky and hot as that warm air mass moves through. Now, through the overnight, notice the GTA, we are staling very dry and in towards Tuesday as well. Wednesday is when we are really seeing that chance of rain. A cold front will sink south. Yes, that will decrease our humidity. So if things are feeling a little bit too sticky for you, relief is on the way as we do see that moisture heading in through us. Clearing by Friday and a good setup for the week. This one. Awesome stuff. Thanks so much for that top five. Rachel shoots in here with you. And it was definitely a foggy morning through the GTA. It was tough for drivers. We had Jeremy Elliott covering traffic and it was a tricky morning for myself driving in as well. Very low visibility. But now we're left with conditions like these. Beautiful sunshine in the city of Toronto. And that's what Kevin was enjoying this morning. And he was making some pretty good friends too. All right, Kevin, some pretty exciting stuff. Thank you so much for bringing us that. Now, let's break down what Toronto is going to be seeing for the next few hours. Into this afternoon, a high of 27 degrees, but notice that humidity feeling more like 33. Temperatures dip a little bit lower through the overnight, but we are seeing clear conditions. So a nice break from what we saw on the weekend. It was a little soggy. It was a little wet. But the good news is all the moisture is sticking to the north, so they are getting fairly wet for today. A cold front passes through. We do have the chance chance to see some storms and then a warm air mass. So we actually have heat warnings in place, but notice the greater Toronto area. We are all in the clear. So weather looking very favorable. If you are on vacation this week, enjoying some time off, things are looking good for you. This is a look ahead into Tuesday. We are seeing this wet weather sinking south and the Wednesday morning drive that could be a little bit wet, but we are clearing into the afternoon. Friday again, a few isolated showers, but high pressure moving in for the weekend. So again, we are setting you up for something pretty nice. This is a look at the seven days. Well, that was another great edition of Around the World in 80 Seconds. Rachel Schutzen here with you. So glad you could join us. Things are definitely going to be feeling quite nice today and tomorrow for the GTA. I know we had a soggy weekend. We started off today with some fog, but the sun burning that off. Things are going to be feeling great. A little wet for Wednesday. I'll break all of that down coming up. But first, I want to take it outside to Kevin Yard. I'm going to say that's a lot of talent. Thanks so much for that, guys. Now, quickly, let's take a look at our precipitation forecast. Much of that moisture staying to the north. Notice the GTA. We are definitely in a dry spot. Things are feeling good until Wednesday. That's when we get a little wet. A great look at our top five videos. Thanks so much for joining us here. Rachel shoots in here with you. And we are taking a look at a nice stretch of some good weather for the GTA. We are staying fairly dry today. Much of the rain sticking to the north. And, you know, we deserve it. It was a pretty soggy weekend. We saw on and off showers and a very foggy morning this morning. So this is how the moisture does play out. Again, staying to the north dry for the GTA into this evening and through the overnight. Temperatures warmer as well. The humidity really building in as we hit tomorrow, feeling like 36 degrees. Now we do see into Tuesday evening this cold front sinking south. That will kill off some of our humidity, but it's also going to be bringing us some showers. So a very wet day for Wednesday morning should be clearing off into the afternoon through Thursday, looking better. A few pop-up showers for Friday. And this is how our seven days looks like through the city of Toronto. Again, that rain for Wednesday. 
And that's a look at our top five videos. Thanks so much for joining us today. Rachel Schutzen here with you. And as we break down our weather pattern for the GTA, well, today it's going to be looking fairly pleasant. Tomorrow the humidity builds, and then Wednesday is when we could be getting a little wet. Showers are in the forecast. I'll break that down a little more coming up, but for now I want to send things outside to Kevin Yard. <laughs> Sounding good, guys. Thanks so much for that, Kevin. Now, this is what we are seeing this afternoon. We are seeing much, much of the moisture sticking to the north. We actually have heat warnings in place up here. Things are going to be getting very sticky and hot as that warm air mass moves through. Now, through the overnight, notice the GTA, we are staling very dry and in towards Tuesday as well. Wednesday is when we are really seeing that chance of rain. A cold front will sink south. Yes, that will decrease our humidity. So if things are feeling a little bit too sticky for you, relief is on the way as we do see that moisture heading in through us for the weekend. So again, we are setting you up for something pretty nice. This is a look at the seven days. It's Rachel Schutzen here with you. So glad you could join us. Things are definitely going to be feeling quite nice today and tomorrow for the GTA. I know we had a soggy weekend. We started off today with some fog, but the sun burning that off. Things are going to be feeling great. A little wet for Wednesday. I'll break all of that down coming up. But first, I want to take it outside to Kevin Yard. I'm going to say that's a lot of talent. Thanks so much for that, guys. Now, quickly, let's take a look at our precipitation forecast. Much of that moisture staying to the north. Notice the GTA. We are definitely in a dry spot. Things are feeling good until Wednesday. That's when we get a little wet.